Hey y'all, good morning, good morning. Welcome. I'm so excited to be here. Welcome, welcome. I am gonna just let everybody pop on. And as you are coming in, I want to know where you are located. Tell me where you're from. Hi everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. Come on in, come on in. Um, tell me where you're from when you're here. Let me know that you're here, that you're watching. Let me know where you're from. I am so excited. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. Super excited to be here. As everyone is coming in, just go ahead and type in the comments. Let me know where you're from. Let me know where you are from. And today I have a treat for you guys. Okay, so I am so excited to be here. So let me go ahead and get started because I know your time is valuable. So just as a quick introduction, and while I'm introducing myself, just go ahead and let me know where you're from. My name is Dr. Kimmy. Hey, we have Lalita from London. Hey there. Hey, girl. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Um, my name is Dr. Kimmy, and I'm a physician, and I'm also the CEO of Productive on Purpose. As you guys are coming in, let me know where you're from. So I'm the CEO of Productive On Purpose, and I have a podcast by the same name. And I empower, as, um, I empower aspiring women entrepreneurs to overcome their procrastination and really start walking in their purpose. And to do that by building their purpose-based coaching business. Okay. So do I have any women on here who are aspiring entrepreneurs? Oh, we got more from Maryland. Hey girl, hey, welcome, welcome. Do I have any women on here who are aspiring entrepreneurs? All right, so listen to this. Type yes if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, but you haven't actually launched your business or you haven't fully gotten out there because you are waiting for it to be just right. You're waiting for it to be perfect. Type yes if that's you. I know that was definitely me. Okay, and so I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into my story, but type yes, right? So this live is for you. If you are an aspiring entrepreneur and you, oh, we got Marge from the Philippines. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, so this live is for you. If you are an aspiring entrepreneur who wants to start a course or coaching business, but you just keep getting stuck, you keep getting stuck. This live is for you. This life is also for you if you're waiting for some like magical moment to make your business perfect, All right? So type yes if that's you. You're waiting for this magical moment to make your business perfect before you launch. You come up with great ideas, but you keep just getting in your own way. Maybe you get excited initially, but then you just kind of... Uh, is that really going to work? I'm not sure. I don't know if anyone's going to want that. I have to like, you know, do all the things and, you know, pull out all the planners and type out all my notes. And you've been writing your business plan for like a year and a half. Raise your hand. Say yes. If that's you. Laura says yes. Amy says yes. Listen, that was me as well. Rena says yes. Yes. Okay. This live is for you. If you've been planning your business for months or even years, right? But you don't yet have much to show for it. You don't have much to show for it. Then this live is for you. Tap yes. Okay. If you can relate to any of those statements, because that was definitely me. So in the next 30 minutes, okay, I want to show you why, why you're getting stuck in that perfectionism. Like why is that actually happening to you? Because really that's the first step to overcoming it is understanding why why your business does not have to be perfect in order for you to start. Your business does not have to be perfect in order for you to start it. And exactly, exactly how to start your business, your coaching business, or launch your course before you develop it. Meaning, before it's perfect. Before you like put any of the like, you know, pretty slides and videos and all of that you can get out there and start serving before you even developed your program. Okay. So type, let's go. If you're ready to get started, who is ready type, let's go. If you want to learn how you can launch your business without getting hung up in the, the perfectionism, cause sister, I was you. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit of background on myself. So 
After my mom passed away in 2017, that was the most devastating experience for me, okay? And as I was in her house and I was cleaning up her things, I found a handwritten manuscript. My beautiful mother had written an entire manuscript by hand and never gotten it published, okay? So I, can you imagine the heartache? Can you imagine like that gut punch that I felt in that moment? It was terrible. It was the worst time period of my life. And I made a decision that day, that very day, that I am going to live on purpose. I am going to get out of my own way and I am going to do the thing that I've always dreamed about doing. The thing that my mother was inspired to do and just never got a chance to do. I was going to start my own business. All right. I was going to start my own business. I'm like, this is it. This is going to be the way that I honor my mom. Let's get it. I'm going to start this business. Okay. So I started and stopped. I started and developed several businesses, got in my own way and stopped, right? So like nothing really magical was happening. But I finally, finally launched my very own blog in the spring of 2018. And I was so excited. I'm like, yes, I finally have the website. I finally have the domain name. I finally have a place on the internet that is mine. It's my very own blog. Yes, this is so great. I wrote my very first blog post and my very first blog post, are y'all ready for it? My very first blog post was how to pack <laughs> for a trip with the toddler, right? I had, I didn't know what I was doing. Basically I, I had no clue, but, but I got started and that was the most important thing, right? So I was like, yes, I have this blog. You could not tell me I was not going to be on the Today Show. I was like, listen, this blog is everything. I'm going to be on the Today Show. Like, it's going to be great. I'm going to do all the things, right? But then what happened, right? Life got real and I stopped putting out blog posts. I would put out a blog post like maybe every two to three months, maybe. That was like on a good month, right? Like maybe every other month, right? I had no one reading my blog. And then the people that would actually come and read, they didn't even know when to come back, right? So I was not being consistent at all, right? So there was that initial excitement and then I got in my own way. I felt like you know, I would sit down to write a blog post and if it wasn't exactly right, if it wasn't perfect, if I, if the words didn't flow easily, I would just abandon it. And I would just say, you know what? Nobody cares about this. Nobody's reading it anyway. It's just like, I kept getting stuck. I just could not get out of my own head in order to move forward. Right. And so like the blog was just stagnant. Like nothing was happening. Nothing was happening. And here's the thing. I was actually calling myself an entrepreneur, right? I had my full-time job, but I was calling myself an entrepreneur because I had this blog, but I wasn't actually making money. And you're not an entrepreneur if you're not making money, right? So I would, in fact, I was spending more money than I was actually making because I was spending on the domain hosting and all of that stuff, right? And so I knew I was made to do more. I knew I had a purpose in my life. I knew I wanted to live on purpose, but I could not get past that perfectionism of making everything perfect, right? And so, so that was until I figured out the way to get out of my own way. All right. And so I'm here to tell you, to share with you three tips for how you can push through the procrastination, get out of your own way and actually, actually launch your business. Now type yes, if you're ready for, for the first tip, right? Type yes, if you're ready for the first tip. So the first thing, Lola's ready. All right. Hey, Lola. Um, so the first thing I had to recognize, right? Because knowledge is power. The first thing I had to recognize is that the reason I was getting stuck in having to make everything perfect was because I was really procrastinating. Ebony's ready. Hey, Kyle is ready. Hey, y'all. Um, 
I was really just procrastinating. I thought, I thought that it was, it was more so like, I just have to make everything perfect. I thought being a perfectionist was actually the way to go. Like, you know, I don't want to put anything like, you know, half done into the world. I want to put my best foot forward and I want to do things perfectly. When really it was just fear. It was fear and it was actually procrastination. And so here's why that's happening. Because in order to move past it, you got to know what's happening up here in your mind. Okay? So I call it your inner cave woman. Right? So think about our ancestors hundreds, thousands of years ago living in a cave. Right? The ones who left the cave to go hunting, to go gathering, to go getting all the things. Right? The ones who did that and didn't like consider what the weather was, consider whether or not there was like, you know, some sort of predator right outside the cave. The people that just kind of left the cave, they did not live to have offspring, you can imagine, right? So we are the descendants of people who do this thing where we have to consider all the different ways to know whether or not we're safe, right? Is this the right time to leave the cave? Is it the right weather? Is there a lion right outside the cave trying to eat me, right? And so I call that your inner cave woman. So that part of your unconscious mind is really just trying to keep you safe. It's trying to keep you safe, right? And so what does that mean? Well, you know, it's scary putting yourself into the world. It's scary starting a business. It's scary launching a blog. It's scary starting a coaching business, right? And so your unconscious mind will say, no, girl, no, no, no. Let's not do this right now. What we need to do, right, is we need to just, we got to get it perfect. We got to get it just right, right? And so people who call themselves perfectionists, they don't always know that really they're just procrastinators, but it is the end result, right? Like I, at the end of the day, right, was I actually getting that thing out into the world? I wasn't. So it was really just my very own procrastination that was keeping me inside the cave, my fear of leaving, right? And your cave woman, okay, she doesn't really care if it's like physical danger or like what's called like psychological danger, right? She just wants to keep you safe. And what is she trying to keep you safe from? People, you know, saying bad things about your business, right? Or nobody is going to sign up, like all of that stuff, right? So you stay inside, you stay stuck and you keep like changing and making it better and trying to perfect that thing. But at the end of the day, you're not actually serving your people. You're not actually serving your people. So then no one is being helped by your messages. No one is being helped by your story, right? And so we have to get out the cave. So that is the first key is to recognizing that perfectionism is really just procrastination, okay? Your cave woman, your inner cave woman is trying to keep you in the cave. So she's going to keep you, you know, writing that blog post for two months, right? She's going to keep you inside of the cave, like working on that business plan for two years, right? But if you're not actually putting that thing out there and serving, then no one is being helped by what you're doing, okay? So that is the first key, is understanding why this is happening, okay? So who is ready for tip number two? Because I'm ready, right? Because this was the one that if you're ready for tip number two, type a two in the comments. Thank you, Bianca. Hey, hey, hey. Um, type a two in the comments if you're ready for tip number two, because this tip was really the thing that got me out of the cave. Once I recognized that it was my cave woman, right, then it was like, okay, but what do I do? Like, how do I actually get out of the cave? How can I get myself to actually put that thing into the world? Because it's so scary. All right, Jamie is ready for tip number two. Okay, here we go. Tip number two, focus on the transformation. Oh, Ebony is ready. Bianca's ready. All right. So tip number two, focus on the transformation that you want to take your customers on. When you focus on the transformation, when you focus on your story and how you, you uniquely can transform someone else, then it's less about the perfection. Okay, because your people do not need you to be perfect. They really don't. 
your people, meaning those people that are out there in the world that are searching, that are Googling, that are up late at night thinking about the solution to their problems. And guess what? You have that solution. You have it deep inside, right? You know that you're ready to serve and you could serve these people, right? They really don't care about the perfection. You don't have to be perfect. What you have to do is help them to get from point A to point B, right? And so when you're able to focus on that, when you're able to focus on that transformational journey that you want to take your customers on, then it helps to release you from that need to be perfect, to have the, the right logo. Because I, I know, you know how long it took me to come up with a logo? It doesn't matter. Your people don't care about your logo. Your people don't care about the colors that you use on your website. Your people don't necessarily care that your Instagram feed is perfectly curated. But they do care about their pain. And they do care about the fact that they are trying to move to the next level in their life and don't know how to do it. So when you show up for yourself and then show up for them and show them that, hey, I have the tools that you need to get from point A to point B, then guess what? That's when you start, you know, allowing yourself to get out of the cave because it's less about the pretty pictures and the perfection of it all. And it's more about how you, how you can uniquely show up for your people and serve them right and help them to achieve the transformation and the results bianca says that makes so much sense i'm so glad it's so true listen that was the thing that just released me from the perfectionism now i still have some days that i fall off i still like pretty things i like pretty things right so i like colors and i like you know making things look nice right but it's less about that it's less about that and it's more about how i can really help people to get to that transformation, all right? So that is tip number two, focus on the transformation of your customers. Jamie, you're terrified. Jamie, shoot me a DM. In fact, if it's okay, I am gonna shoot you a DM after this and let's talk about that, right? Because I get that fear. I get it, you're, you are, you're, you're terrified. You're terrified of rejection. You're terrified of, of not getting it right. I was you, Jamie. I was you. I promise you I was. But, but here's the thing. You have what people need. You really, really do. You have in your story exactly what someone else needs. Okay. And when you focus on that, it really helps you to release that, that, that need to be, to get it exactly right. Because guess what? Here's the thing. Here's another thing. It's not always going to be perfect. It really isn't. It's not always going to be perfect. You're going to make mistakes, but it's about taking that messy first step because really the change and the perfection and the like, you know, beauty of it is going to come as you start walking. As you start walking, you step on a tree branch, right? And then you're like, oh, let me make sure that I look out for tree branches in the future, right? And as you start walking and, you know, the sun is beaming down on you, then you're like, okay, maybe I should have brought an umbrella. Like you learn as you go. You learn as you walk on that journey. And here's the beauty of it all. You get to take your people with you, right? Because you're just one step ahead of them. You're one step ahead of them. So you can be like, hey, girl, hey, don't step on that tree branch like I did, right? As I stepped on it and it, it hurt. So let me help you, right? And when you're only one step ahead of your people, man, that gives you so much perspective, right? Because you remember that there was a pre tree branch. The person who's 45 steps ahead doesn't even remember that there was a tree branch, right? So it's like, uh, Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, there was a tree branch. I forgot to tell you, right? But when you're one step ahead of your people, you are really able to help them in that unique way. Tachina says that, oh, Tatiana, sorry, girl, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up your name, says this is good. Yes, I'm so glad. It's so true. So I am ready. I am now going to share tip number three with you guys, right? Tip number three. And again, this is for specific, I think it will help lots of different people, but this is specifically for you if you're like, I would love to serve people by coaching, by starting a course, something along those lines. Okay, so you ready? Tip number three. Okay, 
because this blew my mind. Okay. You can actually start the process of coaching and helping other people walk that walk before you even develop the course or the coaching program. And you're like, what? I'm t- okay. You take a step back because I promise you at first I was like, this is a lie. This is a scam. This is a scheme. Like, what, do you, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you can do it. Okay. That's how I developed my program called Procrastination to Purpose. So I have an eight week group coaching program called Procrastination to Purpose. And I'll give you more details on that in a second, if you think it might help you. But my students have gotten amazing results, right? And I started this program without having recorded a video. I didn't have this long detailed like plan, right? You know what I had? I knew, remember step, tip two, I knew the transformation that I wanted to take my students on, right? Meaning I knew the point A and the point B that I wanted to take my students on. And then I developed the milestones that they would need to get there, right? And I packaged that in a framework, a very simple framework, and then I put myself out there. It wasn't perfect, it wasn't fully developed, but guess what? No one I worked with came to me and said, I would like to know in module two, lesson three, what exactly are we doing that day? Because, you know, like what, what are the exact, you know, like how much time are we going to spend on that particular, you know, learning objective? No one, no one asked me that, you know what they wanted to know? Can I get them to point B and how, you know, like at what point will they be able to get that transformation? And I was able to tell them. After this eight week program, these are the milestones that you will have achieved and you'll be able to launch your own group coaching program. And that's what they needed to hear. So I got them in the program. We got on a live Zoom call every week. I taught them, I coached them. And my student, one of my students is launching her program next week and has three students already in her course. Okay, and she also has not fully developed her program yet but she knows the transformation that she's taking her students on. She knows the point A and the point B. She knows how she's gonna get them there because she's developed her milestones with my program, right? And now she's showing up and ready to serve. Now, the women in my program, we are all procrastinators, okay? So if in eight weeks, I was able to help these women develop their program, not only develop their program, but learn the strategies for overcoming that crippling, you know, imposter syndrome and that procrastination. I was able to teach them how to outsmart their cave woman, how to outsmart their cave woman, get out of the cave and launch their purpose based coaching business in eight weeks. So eight weeks later, they are exactly there again. And I'm ushering them along the way. And it's so great because, again, I'm one step ahead of them. So I'm able to say, hey, girl, remember, bring that pack. Did you pack your umbrella? Because you're going to need an umbrella. Okay. Naima says she, you're in this space right now. Naima, I have something for you. So I'm about to tell you about the program. But shoot me a DM. And I'll actually shoot you a DM as well. Because I really, really believe in my program. Right. So not only are you going to get the strategies that you need to overcome the procrastination, but you're going to leave my program with the exact framework, your own intellectual property that you can use to serve others. Okay, and so eight weeks from now, you could have you could still be in the cave kind of, you know, tinkering with your logo and tinkering with your website. And trust me, I've been there. Lord, I tinkered with my website for you don't even want to know how long y'all it was just it was it was a mess um and my website still wasn't even perfect right and guess what all of the students that i've worked with none of them have been to my website my website is irrelevant they could not care less about my website they could not care less about what my logo is you know what they care about they care about the transformation 
They care about getting from point A to point B. That's it. And now they're at that point B. They all have their date that they're launching and they're all in, they're enrolling students right now into their program. Okay, and so let me tell you a little bit about my program. So like I said, procrastination to purpose. So before we get there, type aha, if you learned something today, right? So we talked about the three tips that you need to ditch the perfectionism, to ditch the perfectionism and actually start serving, right? So tip number one, recognize that perfectionism is really just procrastination. It's your cave woman trying to keep you inside that cave, sis, okay? But we are gonna get her to sit down, okay? We are not gonna let her keep us inside of that cave, right? So that was tip number one. And tip number two was focusing on the transformation that you wanna take your students on. Focusing on that transformation to release yourself from that perfectionism. And then tip number three, right, is that you can actually start your coaching business and launch your coaching course before you've developed anything, before you've developed, you know, fully developed the program, right? Lola says, aha, Suzette says, aha, I'm so glad you guys learned something today. Because you know why you can do that? You're focusing on the transformation, okay? And so if you are a high achieving woman you've achieved a lot in your professional career but you know that you are purpose for more you know that you were made to do more but you keep getting in your own way you keep allowing either procrastination or perfectionism which is really just procrastination to keep you inside the cave and to prevent you from actually serving then i am here to share with you that you can overcome that procrastination and you can start walking in your purpose and i want to help you to do that through my eight week group coaching program. It's called Procrastination to Purpose. So the transformation is in the title. Okay, that is exactly what you're gonna get. So in this eight week program, you will learn the exact strategies you need to not only overcome procrastination, but you will actually build out your purpose-based group coaching business and learn how to launch it. Okay, so you will discover your own unique purpose proposition. Naima says, aha, I'm so glad you learned something today. That's so great. So step one, you'll learn your unique purpose proposition. What is your purpose proposition? That is how you can show up for your people and serve. And guess what? It's already in you. It's built from your story. It's built from your unique way that you have transformed your life or the life of someone else already. That story is already in you. And all we have to do is just tap into that, tap into that purpose proposition so that you can start showing up and serving others. The next thing we'll do is we'll set a very specific goal, your purpose goal, and I'll teach you how to set a smart goal so that you know exactly when you're gonna launch, right? And guess what? It's not next year, it's not in six months, right? You're gonna be able to launch. Like I said, my student Brandy, we finished our program this past Monday and she's launching her business next week, Monday, and she already has clients. Okay, so you're gonna be able to set that goal of when you're gonna get yourself out of the cave, okay? So the third thing you're gonna learn is how to outsmart your cave woman. How to outsmart your cave woman. Listen, the cave woman, she's always gonna be there riding in the car, right? But what we wanna do is we wanna at least get her in the back seat and better yet, how about we throw her in the trunk, okay? So she is not there like in your ear telling you that you can't do this or you know everyone's gonna talk about you. No, I'm gonna give you the exact strategies that you need to outsmart her. Okay, so that you can finally take that messy first step toward walking your purpose. You're also going to learn how to position and package your purpose. You're going to develop your own unique, your own unique intellectual property, okay, that you can use to get out and serve others. And then you're going to learn how to purposefully launch using storytelling and live streaming to get your message out there and start serving your students. I would love to serve you in this program. Go ahead and shoot me a DM. Shoot me a DM if you are ready to start walking in your purpose. And to those of you who reached out to me here, I will be getting to you. So like, make sure you check your other folder because I want to reach out to you and I want to help and serve you. All right, guys, I hope 
that you learned something today. I hope that this was beneficial for you and I will see you next time. Thank you so much and have a blessed weekend.